In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Sometimes we feel bored when you are praying. Sometimes you feel that the liturgy is too long. Sometimes you feel that even your presence in anywhere, it makes no difference. But what Virgin Mary is trying to teach us today is something called the Divine Presence. And in the, this Divine Presence, things can be changed. Things can be different. If we believe that we are the temples of the Holy Spirit, if we believe, as St. John Chrysostom was saying, when we have the communion, we have the life of Christ to, to face the death of the world. And here, what happened once Virgin Mary received the power of the Holy Spirit from the Annunciations of the Archangel Gabriel. Let me share with you a few verses from Luke chapter 1. First of all, verse 41. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In the Divine Presence, everyone is called to be filled and refilled with the Holy Spirit. Virgin Mary is teaching us that even a visit, yes, it was one of the most famous visits in the history of humanity. Virgin Mary visiting her relative, Elizabeth. She's telling us there is a divine presence. We need to sense this divine presence when we meet each other, when we visit each other. Why? Because he sanctified the whole humanity. Since day one, when you were baptized, you received the Holy Spirit and you became a temple of God. Every Eucharist, you are uniting yourself to be a living member of the body of Christ. So first of all, this divine presence fills us all. That's why the church in the third hour, every day, we are calling the Holy Spirit to come once more, come and dwell in us and to fill us because he is the treasury of all goodness. In the same chapter, Luke chapter 1, and from verse 42 to 45. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? In the presence of God, there is a divine revelation of the mysteries. She didn't know anything about it but the Holy Spirit revealed to her. Sometimes you read the Bible, I got nothing. Virgin Mary is teaching us when you are in the divine presence, he will reveal to us his mysteries. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29 says, but the revelations are for us. The mysteries are revealed for us. Why? Because we are seeking the divine presence of God. In the same chapter, Luke chapter 1, and from verse 46 to 55, the great song of Virgin Mary. In the divine presence, we have, are given the tongue of praise. Sometimes you are in a meeting, or a, a prayer meeting, or an, in a choir, or whatever it is, and you can't speak out. Virgin Mary is telling you and me, be in the presence of God. Be in this divine presence, and you'll find yourself praising the Lord differently because the presence of God, this divine presence, gives us a tongue of praise. And we will find in the same time that the word of God is flowing from her mouth. And she is telling us again, it's not about your memory. Sometimes I have a very bad memory. You can remember everything, unfortunately, except the word of God. She is telling us in the divine presence, is able to make the Word of God flowing from our mouth to see and to praise Him differently. At the very end of the praise of Virgin Mary, she was telling them and she was telling us that the Lord is going to open our eyes to know who is this God. In this praise, she was focusing more and more on who God is and how his amazing grace working in the life of the whole creation. 
when you are in the divine presence, there's something absolutely different. Yes, maybe you attended hundreds, if not thousands of liturgies, and you were standing before the Lord maybe for years, but you didn't feel His presence. You didn't get the power of His presence. Virgin Mary is encouraging you and me today. Tell us His divine presence is different. It's not a place you are going to be in. It's the status. He wants us all to be enjoying this status. Then the fluency of the words, whether in prayer, whether in praising God, will come naturally out of it. Virgin Mary is encouraging me and you to be in this divine presence and to know in His presence, things will be different. In His presence, every single act will look differently because the Lord Himself told us in John chapter 3 and verse 21, He wants our deeds to be different, to look like they are done by God Himself. It's a call to be in the divine presence that all our deeds will be done through God and in God and with God. Virgin Mary teaches us today that we have to enjoy, to experience the divine presence. May the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen.